All right, hey everybody, welcome back down to the garage, uh, present and future. Hope your Thanksgivings were all really well. Um, but yeah, we were feeling kind of beachy, so we put the vote up for the course this week, and it looks like we're at Wahale. Don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm gonna say it, out in Hawaii. So let's get this loaded up. Let's see how, uh, how it treats us today. Still with the goal of just not to suck. Um, so that's kind of what we're trying to do. All right. Honolulu, Hawaii. Designer John Mayer. Shout out to the all the course designers that, that put in the work for GS Pro. You guys do an amazing job. Matt Settings. We're going to be playing the blue tees. Uh, let's do Thursday pens. It is Thursday after all. Stamp 11. And we're going to keep it on breezy because I can't imagine being in Hawaii and it not being breezy. So we're going to do breezy. Make sure all the holes are good. And boom. Let's load this guy up. So we're still working on some new swing changes as well. Uh, latest video I put out on Tuesday, the TaylorMade Coach app, um, trying to work on keeping my lead arm down and more level at my shoulder. So I uh, did a little bit of practicing yesterday uh, down here in the garage, and we're gonna try to carry that over to the stream today and uh, just see what we can do out here at Wahale. Um, so let's get it started. All right, starting off with a, not a very far par four. I don't think we need to do a whole lot on this hole. Um, looks like it's a good, uh, good confidence building hole here. So we're just gonna we're gonna take a five iron, five iron off the tee here. Good confidence building tee shot here. Maybe get the ball in play and uh, and get this round started. Let's do it, guys. Probably going to curl off to the right for me a little bit. I think we're going to be okay. Might be blocked out by some trees. My Mai Tai. <laughs> be Joe, man. Um, funny you say that because when I told my wife I, sh I showed up in my Hawaiian shirt um, for the stream, and she's like, what are you drinking Mai Tais tonight? And I was like, ah, no, nah, I'll just keep with beer. I've never made a Mai Tai before, honestly. Uh, 159 out of the rough wind helping a little bit. I still think it's an eight iron We're gonna give it a good honest eight iron So yeah, the the coaching from what I understand in my drills and I'm, I'm working on the video for the continuation of the training video for the tether made thing but I'm looking to try to keep my lead arm more Not up here more down, right? So we're, we're we're back up in here is kind of what we're trying to look to do. Um, so if it looks like crap, guys, let me know. Ah, see, I left that one off to the right too. Right club, good distance. I just kind of left the club face a little bit open coming through the ball. I can totally feel it, feel what I'm doing. But the striking, the striking lately has felt a lot better, to be honest. Just even since yesterday trying to work on this, keeping the lead arm further down and more straight, it does feel a lot different. All right, here we go. Out of the bunker here at Wahale. Nice little shot. Let's get out on the green. And stop, stop. Come on. All right. There we go. All right, par start. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, 164. 
We got wind cutting off to the left hand side just a little bit there. And then, um, and I'm kind of leaving them off to the right right now. So we're going to split the difference. We're going to split the difference there. And then we're going to give it a, a seven iron. That is the seven. Good solid, good connection off the seven iron. Just kind of aiming right there, right side green a little bit. Just looking to make good solid connection. Uh, not the best strike. I think we're gonna end up with another bunk bunker shot, you yeah. know? Kind of a fat, fat pull on that. We got a pretty tough bunker shot right here. Pretty tough bunker shot. Um, it looks like it's sloping pretty hard to the right, but I don't think I need to account for it that much. The main thing is just the power coming out of here. It's a decent, decent shot out. Land it just on the green right there. Maybe let it roll up in. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't be Hawaii without being at the beach. That's right, man. I said, I said we're feeling beachy for the stream, so we're here. All right, let's get up there. It feels pretty good, maybe a little much. Stay on the green at least. All right, we'll take a bogey. We got lucky with the par. We got lucky with the par on hole number one out of the bunker, so we'll, we'll be happy to take the bogey on that one. Number three here. Or let's, I haven't seen, let's do a flyover. Let's see if we can glimpse of the ocean. We haven't seen it yet. All right. No ocean, no ocean here so far at Wahale, Wahale. Which uh, when I was pulling the, the logo for the thumbnail, um, they're actually gonna host the uh, Sony Invitational, I believe, uh, next year, PGA event. All right, we're going to, I think we're just going to take maybe, maybe even just a hybrid off the tee here. I think if, just a hybrid off the tee. We are still tending to pull these a little bit. Hybrid off the tee. Bad strike in the rough, but not not shit, not too bad. Kind of where we want to be. Kind of where we want to be. All right, we are still kind of we're doing we're working a kind of a push fade right now with the swing is what it kind of seems like. So we're gonna aim left side. We're gonna pins in the back 181. We don't want to go further than that, so we're gonna we're gonna club to a seven here. We're kind of playing like a 165, 170 shot is kind of what what I'm feeling right here. Nice little fade, fade off that bunker on the green. The Nevo is not ready. What happened to the Nevo? What happened to the? Oh, there, okay. You had to think about it, I guess. Are you sure you want to do this, Kyle? Are you sure you, you want this shot? That's what you're going to play, huh? All right. It is. It is what we're going to play.
and now it said, no, that's not the one. I think that would have been all over it, to be honest. What's going on with my Mevo here? Says it's ready again. I did some warm up and a little bit of playing before the stream started. Didn't have a single issue with it. P. Joe, making more of a case for that GC3, man. Pretty much the shot I called. I just didn't quite get the distance on it. Get up there in that two putt circle. Get up in there. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take the par. We will take the par. On to our first par five here at number four. One more flyover. I just want to see the ocean. There it is. Right hand side over there. I want to see the ocean at Hawaii. Cheers, everybody, too. Thanks for everyone's support. I'm trying to put down a decent round today. Like, I really want to get a decent round in. It's a big carry. We got the wind kind of helping us off the right. I think we're going to take a five wood. Sky track was much worse. Some of you rose. Yeah, man. I. The thing about Skytrack too, and again, like when I was doing this about a year ago, building my sim, is that, you know, I didn't have the ability to do GS Pro just yet. And just all the other subscriptions that you have to pay with Skytrack also. I was like, nah, no thanks. Five wood here. Oh, I pulled that so hard left. It's a par five though, so we'll we'll maybe be able to recover. I absolutely smashed it. I just I just pulled the ball. That's what that's what I'm trying to fix right there. You know, with with this new swing and new new coaching and everything. I'm trying to fix that pull shot right there. And now we gotta we almost have to risk it here. Well, no, we don't have to. We can take a, we can take a, a lofted club. We can nine iron, nine iron over the tree there. Nine iron over the tree. Commit to the swing, fully commit to it. Then we are pretty much right at a nine iron again. I just need a little bit better of a strike. A little bit better of a strike. Nine iron, nine iron. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that was a terrible strike. I think I might get away with it though. I might get away with it. <laughs> Is it far? <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that's part of managing the misses too. Like whenever you're working on these swing things, like that's the whole point is like managing the miss. And somehow we got away with that one. All right, what we got here? Really far out there. Mm. I need to make it to, I need to make it past that bunker right there. Well, I don't guess I have to. 
still only 139 to the uh, to the middle there. Let's give the five wood another hit. Let's give the five wood another hit. I mean, we should. This should be about a, a 220, 230 carry. Roll out a little bit. We got a lot of wind behind us, though. So I think we'll be fine. Lead arm level with shoulders. Good solid strike. I mean, whatever. It's not a bad miss. It just leaves us really far out. Uphill, 194. Pin in the back. Pin in the back. Five iron. Just going to aim for the middle of the green. Might just be a, it might actually be a six iron. It might, I think it's a six iron. Six iron here. We're going to club down one. Make sure it is. Nope, that's a seven. Whoo, that was close. Six. Okay. It looked funny when I sat it down. I was like, no, that's not. That's not the six. Hold it a little left again, but it's not a bad miss. Let's let not, that's not like my worst that it, that it has been previously. Like, I just gotta focus on getting that club path a little bit more down, down in. I think I'll be all right. All right. All right, here we go. Stop, stop. All right, we got another sand save. Another sand save. I think that deserves a nice little sip. Sip a -ruski. Cheers, guys. All right, we are on number six now. We're moving along nicely. Kind of another dog leg left par four. This holiday, get a T-Mobile sync up. Just gonna take another, just trusty little five wood. I, you know, haven't still making decent connection with it, but just not just where where we quite want to be. We're gonna trust it. Get the sync up kids watch free today when you add a qualifying watch box. First 24 monthly bill credits plus tax for well qualified customers who can cancel service before. Credit stop and balance. That's not a bad strike. I felt really good about that one. Yeah. Boom. Perfect. Let's see what we got here. 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 Let's see what we got Looking to capitalize here. I've also been doing this thing now too, to where like for these kind of more my like wedge shots, I kind of actually go a little bit further up here. Uh, I find that it reads it just relatively fine and I don't risk like hitting the top of the enclosure. So I've been hitting up here for my wedges sometimes. That's all kind of chunky. That was chunk, chunk city. That was chunk city. Uh, 
That's not how you capitalize up that. 35 yards. Nice little pitch shot. Let me switch this to chipping. Switch it to chipping. Lay it in. All right. Just really want to land it kind of right in the front of the green there. That's the goal. About. Yeah. Nice. That feels good to save that one. That definitely feels good to save that one. All right, number seven, another par four. A lot of dog leg lefts on uh, Wahali here is what I'm seeing. Which if I had a nice, beautiful sweeping draw, you know, in my bag, that would feel really, really good. Trying to put a bag club holder for my sim room while I watch step one and already put something outside down. <laughs> I like my little like, car hood setup right here. It, it works. It works pretty well for me. I feel like aesthetically it looks okay, and you know it, it, it's fun it functions well. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get off the tee here. What do we got to that bunker there? 240 that bunker. It's a long par four. Do I do I pull out the driver? No. We're gonna go three wood. We're gonna go three wood. I think we need something with just a little bit more distance here. We're into the wind also. Just a good committed swing with the three wood here. Oh, that's a choppy one, really choppy. Choppy cut. 215 into the wind. I'm oh, gonna go hybrid. I'm gonna go hybrid. This is the shot. I think we're still playing kind of a, a cutty fade right now. So aim a little bit left. Going right over those trees. This is the shot right here, right now. That's nah, gonna go right. It's gonna go too far right. Didn't even have the distance on it. Again, that that kind of high high cut, but we're fine. We are fine. We're doing real well. Here at Wahali in Hawaii. Never been to Hawaii, actually. Never been to Hawaii. Been down to, you know, the Caribbean and, you know, Central America quite a lot, but never been down to Hawaii, over that way to Hawaii. Flew over, or relatively Hawaii. Me and the better half went to uh, Bali, Indonesia a few years back. Long flight. Amazing country, though. We had a lot of fun. Stop. Nice. Another par. Let's go. All right, longer, longer par three here, 178. We're just gonna play kind of the middle of the green. We're gonna play a solid seven iron. 
going to Maui in three weeks, hoping to play two rounds. Dude, can you, that's amazing, dude. The, uh, the golfing during vacations thing is still a, a new thing for, for me in the better half because, you know, I just, I just really started this again in the past year and a half now at this point. So making plans to golf during vacations wasn't a thing previously and, and now it is a thing. So we're working through that. Hit that really well. Stay on the green. Okay, a little bit far. That's okay. I mean, I, I would I would take that line and that hit on a par three like that any day. Just another nice little chip for a par here. Put it down in there close. Not a lot of movement on the green. If we get a good chip here, we might have a chance to hold in this one. Oh, we didn't even get it to the par circle. You dope. <laughs> oh, you dope. Oh, geez. Oh man. All right, number nine here, finishing out on a par five. Another like big dog leg left. Look at that. We're going to try to, we're going to play this. I'm going to play this as a three shot or listen, I'm not trying to, hero shot this stuff i need to play smart and kind of within my limits we're gonna take a five iron off the tee here lay up to a second shot that's a decent distance and hopefully give ourselves a good opportunity for a par you know that's, that's the type of golf i need to play all right five iron off the tee here commit to the swing All right, good, okay. We're now 299 with pretty open, open things. Got some trees over there to mess with. But really, we can, we can afford to maybe just give this a rip. We can afford to give this one a rip, I'm pretty sure. Aim a little left. We have a good lie. Let's give this one a rip. Go three wood. The tee shot just worried me because if you didn't get that tee shot in play somewhere, then you're really making the hole tough. We're gonna give the three wood a rip here. Ball speed 160 on the three wood. Y'all see that? Jeez. All right, 44 yards. Pin right there tucked in on the front. I'm gonna switch this to chipping. Feel like it reads the spin a bit better whenever it's on chipping and you're doing these little pitch shots with the Mevo Plus at least. So pitch shot. We're gonna go 48 degree wedge, little 48 degree pitch. Looking for something maybe kind of like about, about 38 yards or so.
Yeah. About 38 yard pitch shot, bounce on the green, rolls next to the hole. Thirty-eight on the number, on the green. <laughs> Y'all saw it. I, I called it right. I'm gonna save that clip. <laughs> if you're watching, you saw it, right? That was, I called the number. Like, come on. All right, on to number 10 here. Another par five, okay. So a little bit less danger off the tee here. So I think we can afford to at minimum do a five wood. I just don't trust myself with the driver. Um, we're gonna hit three wood. I don't trust myself with the driver because again, like my, I'm still working on my swing and I do have a very steep attack angle. And I think that just hurts me with the driver to where usually with the five wood and three wood, I can kind of still get away with it because you know, that's the type of swing that you're doing. Thanks man. All right. Three wood off the tee here. Nice little fade in the fairway. Wind's going to help me aiming at that bunker there in the distance. Your name's all blue and the thing, I can't read it. Rob. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Thanks for joining the stream as well. Uh, everyone, everyone, thanks for joining. 229 to the pin on a par five. We got a good chance at this one, but the pin's tucking in the front. Um, it'd technically be kind of like a, it'd be a hybrid for me but it's not going to fall soft. Or I can maybe try to step on a five iron. I can try to step on a five iron and then if I don't get it there, then I should still at least be pitching. I should still be pitching. I mean, this would be a hell of a five iron, but um, I'd rather be pitching hopefully and the, uh, the fairway there onto the grain, as opposed to maybe in that bunker. So let's give that a go. <sighs> yeah, I was trying to step on it and I, I pulled it left. That's, that's normally the miss. That's definitely, definitely the miss. What the heck? There we go. But we're fine, like it's okay. We got we got three shots from here. It's a, a par three right now. A par three from 38 yards. So we got three shots from here to give them. Chipping. Boom. All right. Oh, this is a pretty intimidating shot though, right? Just gotta land it. <laughs> gotta land it basically right over that bunker there. So that's, uh, let me get a number for this so I can just have a visualization. Um, I need about a 30 yarder. 30 yarder. Um, I'm actually going to club up to a sand wedge, sand wedge instead, 30 yarder with a sand wedge. I don't think I got it there. Go, go. Okay. There it is. Okay. We did it. 
30 would have been the number. I, I kind of fatted it just a little bit. So I didn't quite get it there, but I think 30 would have been the number. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Number 11. So we're starting to get a lot of water. See, we got water. Let's do a flyover. First kind of appearance of some water on the course. So we need to account for that now. Cheers. Let's see what we got. Yeah, PJO, PJO still using Arcos. Um, partly because I do like using it, but um, also partly because I forgot my annual subscription came up and it renewed itself. So, so I uh, locked in for another year on it. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's a good app, man. Like it's just, uh, they actually did release an update recently or an email. I haven't seen the update come out just yet. But uh, they, uh, thanks Chris, appreciate it. Um, they're actually gonna help you link Arcos to get an official handicap too, which was one of my kind of qualms I had with it whenever I did my review on it. 352, water. We don't need, we don't need a miracle tee shot here. We just need something safe. We're gonna aim at those bunkers in the distance. We are going to take a five iron. All right. Good confident swing, five iron off the tee here. Oh, the wind might push. Oh, no. Okay. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, that felt like uh, that felt like my old swing there, like really up and high. So when I was up there, I really was worried about it. I thought I pulled it a lot harder than I did, but it turned out to be a really good shot. So, heck yeah, man! One twenty, wind helping off the right a little bit. Got a bunker to carry. Got a pitching wedge here. Pitching wedge here. Just aiming a little bit right of the pen. Just stay down. Commit to the swing. That was really well struck. I think that, yeah, it's exactly what I was looking for. Exactly the shot I was looking for there. A nice little pitching wedge on. Still playing with the water on the next hole here, so, but it's a shorter par three again, or sorry, par four. So we don't got to worry about it too much. So we're going to aim to the right-hand side again. Hey, Hamish. Uh, thanks for joining the stream, man. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for uh, clicking and uh, joining. I appreciate it. All right. Five iron off the tee here. Just looking for something about 190, 200. Commit to the swing. Probably a little cut on that, yep, okay. Felt like really good contact, but I just felt the face open just slightly as I went through it. Um, so now we're kind of scrambling here. It does look like there's a window there though, doesn't it? Like, there's a window right there. And I'm not entirely disconvinced, disconvinced? Unconvinced, unconvinced that I want to try to go through that for real. 
Usually I try to play these rounds pretty honest, but that looks like a window. And I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do it. One six one. One six one and in the win. So we're gonna take a seven iron at it. That's an eight. All right, seven iron. Pulled it a little bit, get through there. We got through it. <laughs> Simulator rule number one always goes here. <laughs> that is true, man, that is true. We landed in the beach, we're in Hawaii again. Oh. At T-Mobile, we believe people deserve Taking a trip to the beach again, enjoying Hawaii. With our price lock guarantee, nice little sand shot here. Talk, text, or data. It's like expecting a trip Don't need a whole, whole big production out of this one. Just need to kind of land it right there. Same a little bit to the right. Price lock guarantee. Get used yeah, to getting like that. even more from T-Mobile. Price locker rates are in place at current network service or eligible lines. State statute fees for most of these parties services. See T-Mobile.com for details. Stop. Stop. All right. Nice. Another sand save for a par. Hawaii, Hawaii is treating, the beach is treating us nice today. The beach is treating us nicely. 162. Wind helping. We're gonna we're gonna chuck an eight iron at it. We're gonna chuck an eight iron at it. Aim a little bit to the right because I'm gonna swing a bit harder on this one. I tend to pull the ball when I swing a bit harder. Lead arm straight. Stop. Oh my gosh. No, not a book. <laughs> oh. Wow. Is that right? Man. Carry game. What was that on the launch monitor? Launch monitor had it at 154. So yeah, I guess the win. I didn't really account for the win. I thought I did, but man. What an eight iron, right? Jeez. Uh, two, three hundred to run out, so we're fine. A lot of, a lot of stuff to work with up there, so I think we're all fine and dandy. Really, just need to hit something. We'll go five wood. Five wood. get behind that tree that would be unfortunate and we are okay we are all right so I mean here's the deal again is like I can hit this shot I get through the trees and it's good or it hits it and then I'm basically a punch shot out anyways right so just as long as I get past that tree. And y'all already voted anyways. Y'all said hero shots all day long. So hero shot. Hero shot engaged. 
and see what happens here. I'm gonna pelt that branch right in front of me, watch. Or pull it a mile left, but. <laughs> but we made it through. All right. All right. Um, 28 yards. Looking for a nice up and down. Maybe make a miracle par out of here. Aim a little bit left. Set this to chipping so it reads the spin a little bit better. Wind helping a little bit. I don't know how much the wind impacts these type of shots, but we're looking probably to, to hit something, I'm saying about 22. Yeah. Something about 22. Nice little pitch shot about 22 yards. Twenty-three, curl, stop. Okay, it was too much. Misread there. All right, chipping again. A lot of kind of little downslope there. Oh, stop, please. Oh no. Oh, double bogey. I've been really trying to not focus on the score. I know I was doing really well there for for a good long while. And I'm letting it slip a little bit. It's in my mind. I'm hoping I can block it out. We got four holes left to play. Plenty of opportunity here. Just keep it, keep it rolling. Par four here, long par four into the wind. We're gonna need to step on a three wood here. Gonna need to step on a three wood here. Do I have any cut on that? I don't. How did I not have any cut on that? Two, two, two on this long par four here. Into the wind again, so we're hybrid. Gonna aim one down, five left. A little bit to the right. Come on, this is the shot I need right now. I just need this one right now. Oh, I didn't have enough to get there, go. Please go. <laughs> yeah. All right, par baby, par from 222 out. 153, wind helping a little bit. Nothing a birdie can't fix, that's right. That's right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna step on a nine iron here. The last time I kind of gave it eight iron swing, I really flushed it. So I'm gonna give it the nine iron kind of the same the same come up ends and hopefully do a nice little kind of let the wind push it towards the hole here.
Oh, that's fat. That's never going to get there. Fat and pulled. Fat and pulled. It's all right. We're good. Just manage the expectations. Really, anything on the green right here would be fine. Anything on the green would be fine. Yes. Another sand save. Wahale. 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 All right. Another dog leg. A lot of dog. How many dog leg lefts do they make on this course? Like it feels like it'd be like a big spiral at the amount of times we've had a dog leg left. Seventeen. It's a par four, four hundred yards. In the wind a little bit. We need to. We need to get it. We need to get it out there though. We do, in fact, need to get it out there. I'm going to trust the five wood. Feel like it had I hit it that with that much of a cut. I thought that was a pretty good shot, actually. 171 in the wind. Decent lie though. Lie's fine. We just gotta we just gotta get to flush a six iron down there, that's all. Number 17 here at Wahale. We're gonna finish out. Let's go. Come on. Decent six iron out of the bunker here. Oh, Mevo. Mevo just went down. All right. It says it's ready again. It says it's ready again. Six iron off the tee here. Well, not the tee. The same. Oh, that's a really good strike. Does it have enough? Introducing the new black and chicken sandwich. No breading, all flavor. Okay. Non-breaded and fried at participating U.S. restaurants. Okay, I like this. Just a just a touch, touch chip. Got a feel for the speed here. Have a plan. Not a whole lot of break in it. 13 yards here on number 17. Just run it right there and down there next to the hole. Come on. Kind of chunked that one to the right a little bit. But, all right, we made the par. <clears throat> All right, number 18 here. Number 18 at Wahale down here in Hawaii. It is a par five. And um, it's not very far. I mean, even, even by my standards, I think if I get a good tee shot here, we do have a chance.
We've been kind of, we've been kind of fading the woods. So we are going to go with the three wood. Good committed swing. Brush the ground. Finish this round off. Let's go. Oh, I pulled it. No, please be in bounds. <laughs> oh man, what a travesty. Oh, Kyle, you just let it get to you. You let it, you let it get to you. You let it get to you. Did, did I go so far left that that I actually landed in the other rough and now I'm not OB? Because I think all the white on the map on GS Pro means it's, it's out of bounds. No? Or is that just the hole? All right, we can do this. Uh, let's get an eight iron. Come on, come on, Kyle. Finish strong. That was a terrible tee shot. Jeez Louise. Five eight wind off to the right, left. I mean, it's gonna be another eight iron uphill just a little bit. Third shot in the green here. Aim a little bit right. All right, here we go. Finishing out Wahale here for the Thursday night stream down here in the garage. Just looking for I want just all the practice I've done this week, the app, everything, like this shot right here. This is the one. Ah, uh, no, it's going off to the right. Help me win, help me. All right. I gave up on the swing. I didn't, I didn't come through it. I, I just, I felt it right when I hit the ball. Right when I hit the ball, I felt it. Anything funny going on with the screen? Looks pretty level and straight. Same a little bit to the right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. We finished with the par. All right. 76. For those of you that have been around know, like, that's the first time ever on the channel that we, uh... yeah, <laughs> topping everything. So that's the best we've done on the channel, 76. Uh, I had break 80 on a lot of my things, and um, here at Wahale, after the Thanksgiving break, uh, we laid down a, a decent round. Left a few shots out there too, I felt, um, and that last hole, that tee shot, but we came away with a uh, we came away with a part. So there you have it, everybody. Hey, uh, for those of you that joined the stream, thank you so much. 
Uh, for those of you that may be watching in the future, really appreciate the time as well. Um, I'm stoked. That's the uh, that's the best live stream sim round I've I've ever done. So excited with that. Uh, we'll definitely have another beer after the stream ends. So check out the other uh, videos on the channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I, I really appreciate it if you do. It, it means a lot. Uh, we're still pushing towards a thousand subscribers. Got a special video that I think I'm going to do for that. So I really appreciate all you guys' time. Um, and we'll see you in the next videos too. Um, no live stream next week. I'll be traveling. But outside of that, you'll have a great rest of your weekend. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Peace.